Well, we didn't know the first album. We didn't know how it would do. We believed in it. We knew it was great music, but we didn't know. So we went out on the road and toured for about two years, and man, the response we got, and the, the music just got stronger and stronger, and the band kept getting tighter and tighter, and we knew it had to, there's more to do, and the music just demanded it. So here we are. Here we are. And I plan on making as much music with this gentleman as humanly possible. Same here. <laughs> and a couple of, couple of quick anecdotes. It'll be less than 20 seconds. We were doing a, a gig at the White House, and Steve Cropper, Doc of the Bay, one of the finest guitar players in the history of the instrument, came up to me, and he put his finger on my chest. He said, young man, you know how lucky you are to be playing with Charlie Musselwhite? I was like, I know, I know. He was like, okay, good. Steve Cropper, nice to meet you. He walked away. And then, and then yesterday, we're going down the street. We see G. Smith cruising around, and, and he stops Charlie, and just and he took the time to say, hey, you know how lucky you are to be playing with him? I go, yes. You know what I mean? Like, I know, I know. So you're pinching yourself every day, every, essentially. It's a living dream. Amazing. But I, I understand that you're, you're also so respect. You respect Ben so much, too. I mean, it's, a, it's mutual it's Totally love. mutual, yeah. yeah. He can't I shake I feel me. the same way, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you'd let him get, get away, though, no, at this uh, point. No. 